again. So this is the third week now of me looking at some makeup brushes that I bought from Amazon. And this is my last lot. So these ones I ordered on the 8th of the 8th. They came through on the 21st. These were the last ones for me to get. Um, I got them from GoDHL on Amazon. Again, I'll leave the name around here. I won't leave a link because, like I've said before in previous video, um, sometimes by the time you click on the link and you get there, there's no stock and the link's like not working properly. So I will not leave a link, but I will leave the name. Um, these ones, let me see. Okay, so these ones cost me £7.13 plus £1.69 for UK delivery. These come in three different choices. Um, again, I'll try and leave pictures in here if I can find them. But I went with the super colourful ones because I just could not, not go with the super colourful ones. Um, so yeah, they come in this really big bag really big bag not super um filled with packaging or anything like that um but no no bubble bubble bag and then you've got obviously all of your bits and pieces on the front here again i believe these have come from china just like the last lot i've i've ordered i don't know if it's like the same factory or anything i have no idea but they definitely come from china um and this one again just like the previous ones if you haven't seen the previous makeup brush video reviews just click up here they'll both be there but just like in one of the previous ones it has my um address obviously for delivery but underneath it has my phone number again and i just don't get down with having my phone number on parcels i don't know i'm just not too afraid with having name address phone number all that on there it's kind of you know and i think that's just too much information already so yeah so i wasn't keen on that but when they came they came in this bubble wrappy bag get them out they then come in this great big wadge of what is this what is this polystyrene type wrap stuff i don't know but then they come in that so that's all wrapped up and then you get the actual cellophane bag with them in and what's really nice is they come, like the brushes are really looked after, so I'll show you that too. So you get them in this bag here. Open them up. And this is a set of five brushes. Now these brushes um, are definitely more face brushes, unlike the previous ones that I showed you, um, the wand ones. Again, link up there. Um, so these ones I waited for, and I really wanted them the first ones to come through because I was waiting for these. Oh, I could not wait. They are so lovely. So with the whole Beauty and the Beast thing coming in lately, I thought these are perfect to just have for this occasion. So they look like roses. So we're just going with the first one. They come in these bags, like always. You then get, and I think this is really, really nice, look at that. You then get this netting on, which you pull off just to really keep this in place, which I think these are fantastic. I will be keeping them on them. I think that's just really, really nice, especially when they've been washed and we want to keep the shape, just put that back on. That will look after them so well. Um, there are a couple of hairs coming out already, I can see. There are some very long ones, like, I don't know if you'll see, but along the top, you will always get, like, a few sort of ones that sprout up. You can probably cut them down, that's absolutely fine. They are ridiculously soft. Oh, my God. Oh, they are so soft. These are softer than any of the ones I've actually spoken about. That is amazing. Oh, there goes another hair. All right. So, the hair's... I've only lost two hairs, that's not too bad. And there's a couple here that are like sort of twanging around. You could probably like cut those down, that's fine. But overall, look at how pretty that is. It is a colourful little rosy type flower. And they do these in all gold with, I think it's like a white or light pink here. And then they have like a really dark pink tip. And then they do ones which are all actually green. And then you have like a red tip here so it looks like a little rosebud so pretty but it's just absolutely amazing what they've done with these they look so so nice and they really are so so soft to the point where like, you can't feel it soft that kind of soft really really nice so i'll put these all back together in a minute the next one 
we have here. This is a slightly smaller brush. Um, these are all encased as well, so like not like some of the other ones where it's got a bit stuck on to the end. They're actually one whole piece, as you might be able to see there. So like with like the wand ones and that, there was like it was like this bit was stuck onto this bit here, like pushed on. This is all one piece. I think looking at them as well. I do believe they make these as one whole thing and then snap them off of something bigger because looking at the end I've just felt this, this, this there, that's actually quite sharp and that's a piece of plastic that looks like, you know when you've got them in like, like a run and you snap them off, that's what that looks like to me. So it's like these have been made and then they've just literally snapped them off and then maybe put the bristles in afterwards, I don't know, but that definitely looks like it's been snapped off of like a whole, whole run of them. So I would probably, it's a bit of a shame because the colour's not on there. I would definitely file that down and be careful that it's not going to take the colour off because it looks like the colour of these could peel off from there if you're not careful. So that's just something to be aware of on these. Other than that though, absolutely lovely. Again, really, really soft. These aren't, I mean, these are really easy to move. Look at that. They're not as dense as some of the other brushes that I've shown you. So let's go on to another one. Is this any denser? Oh, this is a bit denser. It's a bit thicker. This is really more of a cheek blusher sort of brush. It's really big as well. Look how big that is. Look, so cute. Oh, I love it. So that's, and, and the things are all the same. This bit here does vary. So as we've had before, we've had like this sort of one here like this, quite pointy. You've now got this one here. So they vary as well. Oh, this is a cute little one. This is like, I don't know, it seems shorter. Oh, look at that. It's just like a nice cute little round one. That's really, really dense as well. That is really, really dense. I'm not sure what you'd use that one for, but that's really nice. Again, it's really nice. And there's like bristles coming out of these ones at the moment. So, next one. Oh, look at that. It's just... It really is just a little detail like this, I think it's lovely because it just looks like a bud. So nice. That is so tight. Oh, this would be really good. I don't have a brush for highlighter. I think I may have just found one. That is really, really nice. I can't believe these only cost me like eight pounds in total with the price of like the price of packaging. Okay, that's one. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, so this one, the top like bumps. Oh, so let me get another one. Hang on. Oh, yeah, so they're, they're all different shapes as well. So you've got this one here that's like rounded, right? Just ordinary rounded. You've got this one here that is like sloped, but it looks like a diamond. See that? But then you've got this one, I don't know if you can see, and it's like bumpy. Can you look at that? It's got like bumps to it. Oh, that's so nice. That is nice. Oh my god, I say that's like an all over face powder brush. That is really, really nice. Oh, that's nice, that's so nice. Can't stop saying nice. That is lovely, really like that. Yeah, oh my goodness. I can't believe I paid so little for something so pretty. <gasps> yeah, I love these. These are so nice, look at that. They will look so lovely as well in like a little vase sort of pot on your dresser. That would be so cute. Look at that. These are lovely. Oh my God, they're so soft. There's no real fallout of the bristles. There's a couple on them that are like sort of sticking out, but nothing major. Super, super soft. And they look so good. The only thing I would say is just be careful on the ends because it does look like they've been on a run and then just sort of snapped off to be made. But... That is like the only thing I would say is a negative thing because you could like catch yourself on them. But file them off a little bit and it wouldn't be a problem, I don't think. These are lovely. So yeah, I'll leave like the name of where I got them and I think around here somewhere. Go and check out the last two videos that I've done as well. They will be up here. You press the little I and there'll be a little list somewhere. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you think and if you buy them, and if you think anything differently, but yeah, these are really, really nice. Oh, I like these. So yeah, I will be using these at some point in the near future. So thank you very much. And also thank you for 
everyone who subscribed to me recently in the past month. I've had a sudden fluctuation of people subscribing and it's been wonderful. I have reached 50 subscribers. When this video goes up, I may have more or I may even have less, but I did reach 50 subscribers and it's been fantastic to have people subscribing to me um, because there must be something about me or this channel that they've actually enjoyed. So I'm really, really grateful for that. Thank you so much. And hopefully you will stick around or if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, you'll become a subscriber because there's something about this channel and me that you like. And that is all I could ever ask for. So thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed. And for anyone that is subscribing and watching this video, let me know what you think and I will see you again soon.